today an absolute face ripper in the nasdaq the nasdaq going up over 300 points today we were trading it live this morning i walked away and then it ran another 200 points we're gonna take a look at the chart talk about the move that we had and where it went and what's really amazing is seeing how perfectly this played out today with the pivot points and everything that we normally look for in the market today a picture perfect trend action moving markets let's get into it all right first things first looking here at the 15 minute chart look at this thing oh my baby 15,600 today here on the nasdaq and if you look here at the pivot points there's a pivot point at the 533s there's a pivot point there at the 613s today and this thing just went do 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 right just up just absolutely going insane today playing off of those pivots at the open we bounced off the pivot we pulled back to the pivot we went higher so let's break down some of these moves looking at the 15 minute chart and just seeing how beautifully this all played out today like i said we traded this morning move we had the move up at open we pulled back and we chopped for a minute and then we finally made that big move up and we were talking about this on uh, this move the chop how to identify this so if you look at this price action at the open we break to the upside we run straight up now if you want to play this you know fibonacci retracement out of this open kind of what you're looking for here for a pullback and look at that it pulled back pretty much perfectly into that 786 level which is kind of that golden fibonacci area and pulled back there 786 so if you really like you could maybe go to the bottom of this move up but i would just say from the open uh, right there at open we pretty much pulled back perfectly into that 786 and then ran 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 the rest of the day but if you look at this move here what do we got? We talked about this kind of over the weekend, the last weekend or whatever it is on the 15 minute chart. So out of the open right here, we get this push up. And so nine, um, so out of the open right here, we break this big 15 minute candle. We get stuck. We pull back. We hit this trend line, this trend line on the 15 minute chart from earlier in the morning. Just do, 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 do. And we hit that trend line once again. And then we pushed higher. Now, if you look, like I said, on the smaller time frames for this choppy action, What's interesting is if you look kind of just at this price action, right? Look at it. We kind of pull back, we rip up, we pull back, we rip up, we pull back, we rip up, we kind of do, do, do. We make this move down. And what's interesting about this is we basically have this big move up. We pull back. We basically consolidate here in this level right there on that. We then kind of fake out to the downside and we then get stuck down here so you basically have this move up the pullback this consolidation grinding zone this fake out here where we kind of faked out both up and down trapping bears and shorts longs and bulls and bears everyone getting trapped down here and then look at the difference right just analyze this if you're looking at it right now just look at the difference in the price action like do 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 very just choppy price action we finally break to the downside. We pull back into this area from open that we broke out of through there. So this is that area that we broke out at open right through here. We pull back into there and look at the difference in price action once we started to push up. And we were talking about this on the live stream, basically this idea of getting back above this 70, 65 level, needing to take that out, take that area out. The high on that candle right there, 64. So we we're looking for a push back above that 60 area, and then we were looking for this big move up, and that's exactly what we got. We ended up getting this big old push back up here and ran all the way through to the 447s. We traded this breakout here from the 60s through the 400s. It went right to the 440s and then pulled back and then started pushing again. And I just want to kind of look at like, you know, what is it? What is it that really stood out here today? I think what's interesting about this move, really, like I said, is kind of this chop zone, this like fake out area. The push back through this chop zone and then this big breakout look at the three minute chart just do 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 all the way through the 447 so technically just an overall kind of very interesting day of price action you know you get an hour from 10 o'clock until 11 o'clock basically just going sideways inside of this basically channel there little pullback here we chop again so it's like that two structures there right pretty much like little channel chop chop here and then the breakout we start to push and what's interesting is if you look 
like as this thing like really like look when it starts to trend right when it starts to push push back up out of this you start to get actual like good price action so it's like here we break out we had a double top there we had double bottom equal lows i mean triple bottom there in the three minute chart this candle is kind of weird and then this candle okay we finally break above this high here right and then we push up above here we kind of trapped we pulled back but look at this candle right there i don't know i'm just trying to really kind of look at the way these candles played out and how we broke above the high of these candles then we turn that into resistant uh, support basically we're turning this into support and then getting this like very kind of tighter candle and look where this candle is at right if you look it's in the middle of this three minute candle so it didn't get below this even though it closed red it still was respecting the minute the middle of this basically three minute candle right there and then this breakout we were talking about this getting very tight right there it goes from the 60s to the 70s through the 80s and then straight up and overall if we look at this move like what was the big kind of focus here today so it pushes up for 40s okay it pulls back here do 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 after that i mean it was basically just a grinder you know just grinding higher like that first move of the day really was like the, the setup here the push the pullback the trap and then this grind higher but ID, I mean, really, like looking at this on the three minute time frame, there's not like, there's not that many setups after that big move up here from the 60s that I'm like, oh, that's a really good setup. Like it just kind of kept grinding higher and higher, not really pulling back, just kept squeezing shorts, squeezing shorts. So even though it did make that big move higher, there's nothing that I'm really like, oh, wow, like I really like that setup. I think the setup for breaking out here, a lot cleaner to see the move up. We look at the 15 minute chart been really kind of talking a lot about the 15 minute chart here lately this kind of played out perfectly this 500 break so we get above the 15 500 and like we talked about the other day kind of that 50 percent pullback area and guess where we pulled back right into the middle of that 15 minute candle and that break out there so that 15 minute candle that 50 percent spot we pulled back we then ripped higher the same thing here, like we didn't pull back into the 50. This one here, almost kind of pulling back into that 50 spot into the middle of that 15 minute candle. That 15 minute candle at open, we kind of pulled back into it and then got back above it. So maybe an interesting thing to think about, like if we basically pull back below it and then we start to get back above it, we close above it, well then maybe that's like a bullish sign to look for opportunity to get long at that point, depending on the price action. But in general, these 15 minute candles kind of playing out and then the trend. I mean, pretty clean to see the trend here today. Just do, 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 do. We're running higher. I mean, like I said, that opening move really was like probably the best move of the day. And then it was just like grinding, 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 grinding higher. The pivot points kind of in play there. We got above this pivot here at the three, uh, five thirty twos. We turned it into support. And then we push up here to that pivot point up there at the six thirteen uh, area. So, Pivot points, VWAP, all playing out beautifully today here on the NASDAQ. Um, I mean, looking at it now, I'm like, well, you know, I wish I would have just bought and just held all day long and closed my eyes. Obviously, not always easy to do that, but still a absolutely insane day. If you guys got in on this price action, this was definitely not a day to start getting short. Once we started to push higher, it's like, well, I'm not getting short there. Right? I'm not getting short. Once you start making these moves, these moves, big, 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 big moves, just stay out of it until we basically put in a lower high, which we never really put in a lower high. We never put in a lower high on that 15 minute time frame. It was higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. I mean, at no point did we put in a lower high. So a lower high would be basically from here, you know, then we get stuck and then we move down. Same thing here. Like we push up to here, we then put in a lower high and then move down. But you can see we never put in a lower high. We basically respected most of these fair value gaps they're on the 15 minute chart and just kept on pushing. I mean, even like right here, kind of pulling back into the middle of this 15 minute candle kind of played out beautifully. This breakout candle right there on the 15 minute chart, pretty much pulled right back into that 15. Yeah. Right to the 50, 50% 50 on the pullback there. So you can see the power of the 15 minute candle with the 50% pullback. No point in getting short, no lower highs, only higher lows. Stay long. There it is. A wild and wild, just a ripping wild action day here in the markets. The NASDAQ going to the moon. If you guys haven't already turned in live every day, 9 a.m., we're doing it. Let's go.